States and take us on a journey to utilizing the impact of automation in every setting. Good day to you, Miss Olga. Yeah. How are you over there on this fine day? How are you both? Yeah, I'm great. Thank you so much. And uh, I'm a little bit, you know, my yeah, but, but but I will do my best. And I'm still dancing after the previous part. So thank you. Thank you for oh, that. Hey. It was fun. Now the stage is yours. Yeah, so I'll share my slides. Uh, actually, yeah, they are here. So uh, thank you so much for joining us today and it's a lot of fun and I'm happy to be here with you and I would like to talk about my business, how we use automation and AI because actually we have a lot of scenarios of using it and maybe you can just take some scenarios and do the same or maybe have your own ideas how to use AI and automation to make your marketing efforts more effective. And um, so let's start. Let's start. First, uh, about me. I'm Olga Bondreva and I own my agency, which is called Moduma, and we specialize in social selling. I will uh, explain you what it is, what is social selling. Uh, before uh, my own agency, I actually started it five years ago. Before it, I used to work for Microsoft and was responsible for social media and digital projects there in the Central and Eastern Europe region. So uh, now we have clients from different countries, but before I was focused on Central and Eastern Europe. So uh, I would like to share my experience and would be happy to do this. Um, and uh, who we are as a team, we are a remote team um, of about 30 professionals and we are fun. And actually this, this screenshot is from our uh, New Year party uh, in uh, VR. I will, I will tell you more about it in Metaverse. So what is social selling? What actually we do? Uh, social selling is expert social media profile development to acquire potential clients, partners, or employees. What it means that we actually help people just to develop their personal profiles on social media, not companies' profiles, but personal. Because actually, personal profiles, they build trust and people just follow them and it's more interesting, much more interesting for them than to follow a company, right? Because this is a person and uh, personal stories, they are always more interesting for people. And our main platform we work with is LinkedIn because LinkedIn, this is a professional social media platform where people find jobs, find some partnerships, find clients, find some other opportunities. For example, we agreed with Angeline that I will speak at this conference on LinkedIn and we had all the conversation there because this is the main business social media platform. And it's very important to be here. And if you are not here yet, uh, I would recommend you to register on LinkedIn because it will help you to accelerate your just career opportunities or business opportunities. So uh, please do it. And if you're there, just let me know. Uh, you can write in the comments. Are you on LinkedIn already or not? Because I'm just interested because it, this is actually the main business platform. And I would recommend you to be here if you would like to find a great job or clients, etc. So yeah, if if you share, yeah, I can see that some of you are uh, sending comments that, yes, yes, you're here. Great, great. Yeah, this is very important to be there on LinkedIn. Yeah, yeah. So I will share some tips and tricks for LinkedIn and how you can use chat GPT to make your life easier on LinkedIn. Yeah, I can see that many people are already on LinkedIn. This is great. Yeah, it's very important. For your career or business if you are starting a business yeah be there so uh, today i would like to talk about uh, four things first how we can use chat gpt for social selling how you can use automation for linkedin uh, how you can use mid journey and other visual neural networks for some scenarios like events and social media and how you, you can use metaverse for your probably events or some other scenarios. So let's start with ChatGPT and 
also please share do you use chat gpt already or maybe just starting or you don't <laughs> yeah it would be great if, if to know if you share so chat gpt for social selling why we use it because we need to overcome this creative block um, when you just start doing things and you need to be faster and more productive and chat GPT can uh, help you to give, can give you some ideas and give you some interesting uh, thoughts or some additional information you can use. So yeah, it really helps. And they can see that some people already use, <laughs> yes, uh, chat GPT. Yeah. And some use, use it for business. Yeah. Great. This is great. So yeah, let's talk about it. Uh, first of all, um, we, you can use it for your positioning on social media. You can define your positioning, your expert in something, or maybe visionary or professional or enthusiast in some topics. So you can, for example, ask ChatGPT, create your positioning strategy for your personal brand. And this is the prompt example. I actually shared this slide with the organizers of this event. So if they could share it with you, uh, I would appreciate because there are a lot of prompts you can just use. You can just copy them to ChatGPT and just use them. So uh, I gave ChatGPT my background, my current experience, etc., and maybe some other personal things about me. And I've got um, two two options for my positioning on social media for my personal brand it's small so i will not just read all of it i will just be brief here so yeah first uh, result is i've got the answer like with step by step uh, personal branding strategy explaining my positioning target audience uh, value proposition etc etc so and the second uh, option i've got is just a solid text uh, about my personal brand uh, and what can I do and how can I position myself on social media from a, a, on professional side and personal side. So it, it's very useful. What else you can do? You can use ChatGPT for your LinkedIn profile design and meet me journey actually too. Um, First of all, when we design our LinkedIn profile, the headline is very important because headline, I've just highlighted it. This is uh, the most important thing because uh, actually people can find you on LinkedIn using this headline, using their LinkedIn search. This is why it's important to add some uh, keywords of your area of expertise so people can find you and offer your a job or offer some other opportunities so it, it's it's very important and actually this example is this is our client uh, sergey he works in the us in georgia state university and we help uh, him develop his personal brand on linkedin and this is an example of his linkedin headline and uh, you can use some of the prompts for chat gpt to create your LinkedIn headline or different options like 20 headlines at once and choose the best one. Uh, for example, I can I can tell uh, that create a short LinkedIn headline based on this structure. I give a structure, I give some limitations and I give some information about myself and I get a lot of ideas for LinkedIn headlines um, like this. Yeah, I've got different different headline versions and I can use them or I can combine and create something uh, on my own. Yeah, but anyway, it's much easier, much better than I would just sit and think just on, on my own without any help. Uh, next, of course, you need to have a solid about section because you need to tell your story there about your experience, about what you are looking for now and give some contacts um, to potential maybe recruiters, partners, clients, etc. So you can also ask ChatGPT to help you with that. Uh, for example, you can give uh, your position into ChatGPT and ask to help with your about section. So it's also a scenario you can use. Um, this is an example of the answer, but it's too long, so we will just move on. 
Uh, also, you can use AI for content creation. Here, this is the tricky thing, because actually when we use AI for content creation, people can feel it, right? You probably already understand what is AI generated and what is real, because, you know, it's so, <laughs> it's a lot of AI generated content on the internet right now. Yeah, it's, it's just, you can just feel it. So this is why uh, I recommend not to write something using uh, ChatGPT, for example, but you can uh, get inspired uh, generating some topic ideas first. For example, I gave uh, ChatGPT a context of who am I, what I do, etc. My maybe uh, professional things, personal things. And uh, ChatGPT helps me giving some ideas for my uh, LinkedIn posts. And I can uh, just use them and write something on my own. But this is not the only scenario. One life hack for uh, LinkedIn is that you can use some other people posts and create your own post based on it. For example, you follow an influencer, an expert in some topic you are interested in, and you love their post, and you would like to take it. And you, you can ask ChatGPT, please create a summary style post based on the text below. And ChatGPT creates a new post, but of course, it's based on the posts of other person but it's okay because on linkedin you can tag this person and say thank you to this person for this post and uh it's it's very beneficial actually because you can uh have a great great content you can uh just appreciate the influencer you like yeah and you can probably get more followers because if this influencer likes or comments your posts because you tagged this influencer um you can get some new followers or comments of other people so you can use uh this format too especially if you feel not confident now um what to use what what to post on linkedin what story to tell about yourself yeah, because especially when you're a student, probably you may not have a lot of experience, but you can use uh, maybe some other people's posts and create your own based on them. Um, this is the example of the results of these kind of posts. Also, you can use ChatGPT to proofread your posts and check grammar. Of course, all of us, we do some mistakes. We can use maybe some words which which don't fit to this post, but ChatGPT really helps to improve your texts and you can use it for that too. For example, you created something from scratch and ChatGPT helps you. Or you can ask it to make it more engaging uh, because usually you, you can, for example, be more fun on LinkedIn and create something engaging there. Yeah, and this is an example how it looks like. But uh, just consider that ChatGPT is the US tool, so uh, it just creates things in the American style, you know, very funny, very um, engaging, but uh, it depends on your cultural context, is it appropriate or not for your context, you, you decide, just you decide and you uh, can edit this post as you like. Uh, also, ChatGPT has actually OpenAI. They have this tool, which is called AI Text Classifier. Uh, what, what is it about? Uh, this tool helps you to assess your text, whether they look AI generated or not. So if you use ChatGPT, you can just check how, how it sounds, sounds, how it looks, and is it okay to post this uh, post or um, you need to maybe rewrite it somehow to that this could look more natural. So you can use this tool. Uh, this is the link, but you can just Google AI text classifier and you will find it. So if we are talking about chat GPT, the main secret is the more specific you are, the more effective your result is because actually when we just give it some 
structures, some checklists, how to do things. ChatGPT uh, gives you just the good, good results you can use. So uh, this is it for ChatGPT. And I would like to talk for a bit about automation on LinkedIn. Actually, on LinkedIn, automation is a gray area. Why? Because LinkedIn doesn't allow it. And uh, actually, you need to do everything manually on LinkedIn, like sending connection requests, uh, sending messages, and some other things. But there are a lot of tools <laughs> which just automate these things, um, and you decide to use them or not to use, because, of course, they optimize your time, they just help you, but uh, this is the risk because LinkedIn doesn't like them and can probably block your profile. But usually automation tools, they are very, um, you know, uh, advanced and they know the algorithms and they are quite safe. So what can you automate? You can automate, for example, visiting profiles, sending connection requests, following profiles, uh, likes and some comments, sending messages and some other things. You can automate basically almost everything on LinkedIn. But of course, uh, it's important to do it in a smart way because you need to still to be human behind all of this. And people uh, still need to feel that you are the real human, not just automation behind. So uh, be very careful here. And there are so many LinkedIn automation services and tools. You can choose uh, the best you want. We, as an agency, we mostly use Linked Helper and we also use Expandy and sometimes DuckSoup and Phantom Buster. But you can just try your own tools you, you would like to, to use. Yeah, uh, but be careful and not don't automate too much. So yeah, there are a lot of tools, this is true. And um, next scenario is uh, how to use Midjourney for events and social media. Because you know, Midjourney, I think this is the next uh, five, uh, we, we talked about ChatGPT and now we're talking about Midjourney. This is also a very interesting tool. Uh, who uses Midjourney or maybe used it once or twice, please share in the comments because it's very interesting. Do you use it? And maybe you can mention some scenarios, how you use it, for what. And uh, as for me, I will just talk about using it for events and social media, how we do it. Because actually this is amazing that not being a designer, not being an artist, you can create something very beautiful and use it just without you know, spending a lot of time. So do you use Midjourney or other visual social media platforms? Uh, if you don't, yeah, you can just start exploring some visual um, neural networks because this is this is great what they can do. Oh yeah, I can see. I use Midjourney, most of my images, my slides a while ago were Midjourney generated. Yeah, great, great. Yeah, actually Midjourney can really make your presentations, make your slides much better because you'll have a lot of funny or nice, beautiful pictures there. So let's talk about our scenarios, how we use Midjourney. First of all, um, you or me, uh, we can generate uh, pictures for our events, like generate visuals for them. Um, <clears throat> we have an upcoming conference Social selling tag. I will talk about it too. And uh, I needed to create a visual for the conference. I could go to a designer uh, for help, or I, but I decided to try me journey first. And actually, I've got a lot of different pictures. Yeah, I was experimenting a lot with different prompts. And uh, I just created the picture I liked most. And we started working with this picture for our event. This was the picture with ducks, actually. Because uh, the symbol of our agency is a rubber duck. So this is why uh, we thought that it could be funny to add ducks uh, to the conference. And I would like to invite you to register to our conference. It will be quite late 
for for your time zone but if you register you can get the recording of the event so you will watch it we have a lot of speakers uh, from different companies uh, and their great experts in AI automation and metaverse topics. So, yeah, I would highly recommend you to watch uh, recordings after the webinar. It will be in October. So this is how I use ChatGPT to create a visual for the conference. And actually, I've got many compliments on this visual that, wow, this is great. Was it a designer or me journey? <laughs> and of course, I'm saying that it was me journey. Uh, and actually, I can show you the prompt I, I had for this picture. Uh, I've just asked to create like three rubber ducks levitating. I asked um, to, to have them in robotic style, but you can see that they are not robotic, but I decided, okay, let it be, but they're, they're still beautiful for me and I will use them. So this is a scenario how we can use Mid Journey. What else? Uh, also, I can use Mid Journey and other visual neural networks for uh, generated some pictures for my social media posts. Sometimes I would like to to have some bright picture, maybe some emotional one or just provocative one. And uh, I can just generate it without trying to find it on the internet and using it. I can generate my own picture, why not? And it looks, I guess, funny and emotional and bright, so you can do it. Yeah, the, <laughs> the left one is quite creepy, but <laughs> the right one, I guess. It is better. So yeah, you can uh, do it too. Use uh, Midjourney or other uh, uh, other uh, visual neural networks for uh, creating pictures for social media. And sometimes I use it just when I need something, you know, something nice to, to look at. I can create some just very nice and cute pictures of some animals and or other or some nature, etc. So uh, this is just one of the ways how you can use these neural networks, or you can use them just to to have fun because actually I've generated several pictures um, on the topic. If, for example, LinkedIn was a human, it's, it's just very creepy. Or if TikTok was a human, or if Instagram was a human, I was just, I don't know, I was just having fun. But um, it, it shows very interesting, interesting pictures. Uh, or, for example, Facebook uh, was a human, YouTube was a human, uh, if Twitter was a human. So I was just having fun, but it was quite funny content for my social media too because I posted it and it was interesting for my audience to see what Midjourney could generate actually and uh, this is it for Midjourney and the last scenario we use um, we use automation in is when we use metaverse uh, actually, there are a lot of platforms you can use and even free platforms. You can just register, create a virtual room and use it for, yeah, similar to NFT. Yeah, I, I can see the comments. So you can use um, the, create some room in Metaverse and use it for your, I don't know, meeting with your friends or some internal events. We used it uh, for our team events and, but we never used it for clients meetings, but, but we plan to, because I think that this is very funny if we just invite clients to the completely digital room, completely digital environment and uh, use it. So uh, what we did, we had a new year party at our agency and uh, everyone registered at the platform. We used, uh, you know, uh, this is a platform, it's called a special or spatial, if you just write it down, special. And um, we used this platform and it's free to use. You can just register and create your room, invite people, etc. cetera. And uh, we created several rooms there. Um, 
for example, we had room for official presentation and we had room for hanging out after the official presentation. So it was very warm, funny. Yeah, yeah, special. I, I can I can see the comment that some people um, just send in the name of this platform. Yeah, I would recommend using it because um, it's just fun, very fun experience for different scenarios. So yeah, it's you, you can use it. So we used it once and uh, probably we'll use it for our Halloween party too, because actually you can create your room your own, in your own style, add some pictures, add some objects, 3D objects, and it will be a lot of fun. So we plan to, to do our next, uh, next party here in special. Um, and actually summarizing what I was talking about is first we use chat GPT in our agency a lot, a lot for text generating, for some um, maybe profile design and just to give, get some new ideas and inspiration. It's a very useful tool and you can use it. Second, for some projects we use automation because you know, um, some clients, they would like to get the bit cheaper uh, format. And in these cases, we use automation and um, we use different platforms for that. Third, we use uh, Mid Journey and other visual neural networks for generating pictures, like for events, for social media, just for fun. Yeah, and uh, it's also a active parts of our automation and digital digital life because Midjourney and other platforms they are great tools and you can create something very beautiful without having a lot of skills as a designer or artist yeah it's it's just great and uh, as i mentioned last uh, we use metaverse for some internal events and i hope we will use it for events with our clients too very soon and for our Halloween party. It will be a lot of fun. And um, at the end, I just wanted to say that if you have any questions uh, or you would like to maybe share some on your own, you can reach out to me via email or on LinkedIn because I know that all of you are on LinkedIn, you answer that. <laughs> and this is why I just invite you to send me connection request or follow so we could stay in touch and you can ask questions or share some of your experience or we can just follow each other and uh, see the updates of each other because we actually do a lot of interesting stuff. We organize some events and share a lot of uh, just content, open free content. Yeah, you can just uh, use it like some checklist on LinkedIn, etc. So yeah, let's Let's be connected on LinkedIn. So thank you so much. And I would be happy to answer some questions if you have some. Thank you. Wow, that was indeed a notable journey with you, Miss Olga. So you know what? Everything that Miss Olga has said was very much um, easy to absorb and very much insightful, especially when she tackled um, social selling which is really important when it comes to marketing and embodying connections. And the issue was the utilization of artificial intelligence was great. Ayan. And I know you guys have a lot of questions in mind. You can start dropping your questions in the comments below so I can see how you guys waited for this moment. Let's now read it for the first question. How yeah. has the adoption of um, how, is, how has the adoption of marketing automation transformed traditional marketing approaches and strategies? Oh, this is great. This is great. Thank you for the question. Actually, when I worked at Microsoft, we uh, just started using automation, you know, some uh, marketing automation platforms. And of course, it transformed, transformed marketing a lot because actually before we couldn't Mm, you know, maybe track some of the engagements with our potential clients. But when we start using automation, it became a one system of different uh, touch with our clients, different interactions with them. So, uh, for example, we uh, used one of the automation platforms called Marketo. And uh, using Marketo, we just um, 
you know, we created some streams where we could monitor uh, how many engagements our potential clients do. For example, do they, um, I don't know, download some of our guides and presentations? Do, do they uh, visit our events, etc., cetera, etc.? Cetera. So when, for example, we know that one person already got uh, already uh, did a lot of actions, a lot of engagements with us, in this case. Our sales representatives can come to this person. And we know that this person is very, you know, a hot lead because they already know a lot about the company, about the products and services. So we just need to start selling. And this is very important uh, to, to have this information and to know who is ready for selling and who is not. This is the main, main thing, I guess. Yeah. Okay, thank you so much, Ms. Olga. I hope that answers your question. So. For our second question, um, let's now read a comment of Facebook user. Yeah. How can automation like artificial intelligence help young marketers maintain a online presence across multiple platforms? Yeah, yeah. Inter interesting question. So uh, first, uh, you can use uh, some platforms like there are, there are a lot of different platforms like Sprinkler and some other names of the platforms, they can uh, help you with cross posting. For example, you can post the same content on Facebook, on LinkedIn, on uh, Instagram and some other platforms. Of course, uh, for each social media platform, you can have your own strategy, yes? But uh, most of your content can be just duplicated to different platforms and it works okay. So this is first. The second, uh, you can use, of course, ChatGPT and MidJourney for your content creation to generate ideas or uh, to help you with writing of your posts. Yeah, or help you with generating some visuals. Yeah, so it will be fun and uh, beautiful. You can do this. And uh, the third, uh, for LinkedIn and maybe some other platforms, you can use automation to automate some actions like sending connection requests, sending first messages, etc. So yeah, you can do a lot of things here. Thank you so much for that insightful um, note. So for our third question, if you if we have another question, yeah, uh, how can we guarantee or perhaps maintain authenticity in the dawn of artificial intelligence? Yeah, I love this question because yeah, it's it's actually the main problem because. Um, Many people use automation and now it's very difficult to find the just authentic content without using automation, etc. So uh, I think that the main principle, don't generate something from scratch and just post it. Don't do it because actually on LinkedIn and in, on any other social media platform, people just feel it if you do this, right? You need to... Anyway, even if you use ChatGPT and other platforms, you need to read this post. You need to change it somehow. You need to edit it and then post something. What is really your result, not just ChatGPT result? And this is important that ChatGPT and other AI tools, they, they are your friends. They are your helpers and you can co-create with them together with them. You don't just, you know, <laughs> Uh, use the result without any thinking, without doing something on your own. You need to cooperate together with them. It's very important. So I think this is the main uh, idea. And in this case, AI will not replace you if you <laughs> if you do this, if you co-create with it. Yeah, but if you just turn off your brain and just copy and paste everything what AI generates. In this case, of course, you will be replaced quite soon because your brain is switched off. Yeah. I think we um, have a last question from our um, attendee. What advice can you give to young marketing students or we call in the Philippines marketing staff aspiring to pursue a career in marketing with marketing automation tools? Um, interesting question. So first advice I would um, give you that uh, 
try to work in large corporation because actually it will give you a lot of experience and it will give you a lot of you know even your personal brand will be accelerated after that because you, people just know that aha uh -huh, she works at microsoft it means that she's cool yeah so this is why try to find this job and uh, most of the large companies the um they actually have some trainee programs so you can apply and uh, and try to try to to get there and uh there you will use a lot of automation because i promise you large companies they um just have they implemented a lot of automation tools so you you will use them because you will have to do it and um you don't just need to learn something uh, in advance like before you join the company you will have to you will have to use everything and you will be much a better expert after that but of course even if you don't join uh, a large company in this case you still need chat gpt you need visual uh platforms i mean visual neural networks you need to know everything what i showed today and just try it try just register and try it in this scenarios you uh, you need uh, which is relevant for you it this experience will help you that's yeah. nice. Actually, thank you so much, Miss Olga, for sharing your wisdom with us. This truly made our adventure this year more worthwhile. To show you our may I humbly call on the project head of the Business Online Exploration 2023, stepping into digital agency, Miss Angeline Bendal, to present to you our gratitude through this recognition. Hello, Miss Angeline. Hello, Miss Angeline. Yes, thank you, Mr. Kirk, and hello to you again, Ms. Olga, and nice to meet you. We are truly grateful for your time and knowledge that you have shared with us today. With that, on behalf of the 36th Official Synergy Trainees of the Philippine Junior Marketing Association, I humbly present the Certificate of Appreciation to Ms. Olga Bondareva, our guest speaker for this year's Business Online Exploration 2023, stepping into digital efficiency for the topic of utilizing the impact of automation in every setting. Given this date, September 10, 2023, here at the PGMA Box 2023 Livestream Group. Please take this as your memento from us all the way from the Philippines. Thank you so much for spending your precious Sunday by inspiring us, the junior marketing community of the Philippines, and the next generation of triumphant marketers. We hope to connect with you again soon. Take care, Ms. Olga Pondareva. Thank you so much. Thank Angeline. you so much, Angeline. Thank you for your support. You're great. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Thank you again, Ms. Olga. Um, tignan natin ngayon yung mga comment section after that nose bleeding. Uh, so very insightful from Ms. Olga. So as we can see in our comment section, magbigay tayo ng shoutout kay Matibag, John Lloyd, M-M-M-1-P-U-P-O-C. Another one. Thank you so much now, Ms. Olga. All the way from Wyoming, USA. Ayan. Another comment, let's go marketistas as we strive for greatness from Junior Marketing Association, University of Caloocan City South. Ayan. Sabi dito ni I'm, ayan, good day marketers, I'm Ray Mark Pintakasi, fourth year college from Tangub City Global College, Junior Association for Marketing Executives. Ayan, sabi ng ating mga comment, um, commenters, we really appreciate your talk. Ayan, puro palakpakan. Puro, uh, yan, much love from the Okay, later. Okay, you, okay. Now, last um, comment from Batangas State University. Okay. Anyway, guys, make sure to answer the evaluation form that will be flashed on your screens later to get your e-certificate in this event. And before anything else, business online exploration is made possible thanks to our amazing sponsors and your invaluable support. Exclusive partners. Motivo Philippines keeps you going. Diamond Bling. Hype Capital Footwear Philippines. Old Couture. Bazal Jewelry. Parfums Parbu. Photo X Media. Stories Beyond Lenses. Synth Audio and Lighting Dian Bates D. 
Dian Bakes Made with Love. Paleo Activewear, where fitness meets elegance. Commune Picks. Luma Bahina, connecting people through customized letters. Polaroids, printing memories that will last. Ashtech. FranchiseManila.com Braided Personality Make your memories with Braided Personality Silvanias Las Piñas Intensify Digital Printing Something Right Philippines Keep Memories True Life UK Red Images Timeless Photography Incorporated Dare to experience the difference when you have your pictures taken at Red Images. Official Courier Partner Courier Express Quantum Sponsor Manila Cafe Cloud Sponsors So Hooked Twinkle Charm Bike Sponsors S. Ancilia Flower Store.ph K&K Bakes Dream Big Branding Media Partners Edge TV Pinoy Rapido CLTV 36 Spark Up What's Up Pilipinas Ang pambansang vlog ng Pilipinas Coach Boost Geo Jario Millennial Digital News Balitang Komunidad Servisyo at pagbabago. Vlogth.